Hello everyone, Chloe Duplessis here with Duplessis Art. I hope this video finds you well, safe, and supported wherever you are in the world. And I hope that you know just how much you matter. And speaking of knowledge of self and contribution and how much you matter, my latest art exhibition combines all of those things including the beautiful notion of capacity. What am I talking about? I'm talking about capacity through creativity. It's my latest art exhibition. It's where I'm standing right now. <laughs> and if you hang on for just a few moments and share some time with me, I'll take you through the show in real time. Now, if you happen to be in the Denver metro area, we'd love for you to come through this week. The show runs until the 24th of June at 4 p.m. I'll be here today until 4. It's Tuesday, the 21st. I will be here tomorrow, Wednesday from 12 to 4, right here on site at the Broomfield Auditorium. And I'll be here to wrap up the show on Friday from 12 to 4 as well. And again, I'll be giving art tours and taking you through this beautiful collaborative work that we've presented in honor and recognition of the outstanding employees of the city and county of Broomfield. And of course, these tours are always free and open to the public and all are encouraged to attend. So I'm going to turn my screen around and show you this beautiful show. And if you have any questions or you'd like to reach out to us, feel free to do so. So walk along with me. When you first walk into the lobby space, you will see this beautiful marker that provides an overview of the program. So for six weeks, we partnered with the city and county of Broomfield to offer cultural capacity sessions. And these are sessions that allow employees just to show up authentically as they are and to engage in beautiful, meaningful, creative and art space activities. So the six pieces of work that you're viewing right now were all inspired by my experience facilitating these wonderful workshops over six weeks right here in Broomfield. Many thanks to the leadership here and the wonderful team that's in charge of diversity, equity, inclusion, and organizational development for allowing us to do this meaningful work. And of course, the library, cultural affairs, and auditorium staff for just being amazing human beings and helping us prepare this show. I also want to shout out my awesome team at Duplessis Art of Sean and Anne. Couldn't do it without you. So I created all these pieces at the close of the program. And each piece makes reference to the overlapping themes that people shared during those sessions. So of course, this piece deals with climate change and how it can feel really overwhelming to do something mindful and meaningful. But I submit to you that we're all in this together, so we're gonna have to find a way to protect our beautiful planet. This piece references housing insecurity and how with the growing increase in what it means to live and have some measure of quality of life, and with wages not matching up, many of us find the American dream elusive. This piece is called Blue Moon, as in once in a blue moon. For those persons who love the Wizard of Oz like I do, the book and the movie, you know that that book was written to represent the overwhelming themes of disparity and challenges in how we relate to each other, the world of work and quality of life. But by holding each other's hand, honoring each other's truth, and rocking some pretty cool red boots, we can make our way out of the fog together. But we gotta be committed to doing it together. This piece is called Blue Horizon. It references the beautiful blue sky that we love so much here in Colorado. But traditionally, the sun has always been connected to warmth and quality of life and community. And you'll see the hands of persons of color who have been historically disenfranchised. And I just wanted it to be very clear that we all deserve to have a connection to quality of life and the sun. 
This piece is called Have a Seat because I fundamentally believe that we all deserve a seat at the table. We have all worked to build this country. The last piece I created for this show is called Seen and Heard. It is my tribute, my ode to persons like myself who are navigating disability. For those who are familiar with my story, then you know that I am legally blind and uh, gradually losing my sight. I have Stargardt disease, which is a rare form of macular degeneration that is genetic and there currently is no cure. So in my work, accessibility is always a theme that is very important to me. She has the visor on, she's missing uh, an ear, so she's hearing impaired, and she's not really mobile. If you look at the base of the piece, those bold brush strokes are strong and vibrant, but they're not moving. And this piece is just meant to honor those persons who are working every day to navigate disability and do so with a sense of pride and courage and dignity. We see you, we hear you, we love you, and you deserve to be seen and heard. If you follow me, we're gonna move on over to the next aspect of the show. There's a beautiful little marker here. Now you'll see flowers throughout this show at various points. Those flowers are meant to honor the persons who worked with the city and county of Broomfield who have passed away or transitioned over the past three years, whether it be due to COVID or natural reasons. We just wanted to honor their contribution and their commitment. So you'll see vibrantly colored bouquets all across this show. You'll also see some really fun stuff like beautiful Lego designs, honey. Isn't that cool? Now, one of the afternoon sessions gave employees the opportunity to either write free verse, free form, create poetry, spoken word projects, or build, work with their hands and build. And one of the great things about building is it forces you to be present. You have to abandon whatever is going on in your head and dare I say it, show up authentically and create. It's one of the reasons we always have a building activity when we do our trainings. And this is the official promo folder and flyer from the program. It was called Capacity Through Creativity. Again, we partnered with the city and county of Broomfield for this beautiful program. And this show is a culminating exhibition of that program. So you'll see beautiful pieces of collage gracing the walls of the lobby. And when you walk in, you'll feel a sense of warmth, not just because the area has been curated to feel like someone's living room, mind you, <laughs> intentionally done to create comfort and belonging, but also because all of these pieces represent things that employees, 139 employees, felt gave them joy. So several of the pieces will actually feature nature scenes because people love getting outdoors. There's something so healing and cathartic about anything green, anything found in nature, right? But you'll also see aspects of joy represented in their connection to travel and family, food and celebrating meals with those that you care about or creating meals and events for those you care about. Several of the pieces reference Activities like fishing, hiking, studying, reading, or settling in for the great book, or watching your favorite show. I think it's important to note that you can't help but feel the warmth in this show when you walk into this space. You also see a quilt 
adorning this sofa piece, the flowers again, an antique washboard from Broomfield that's older than you and I put together, honey. This really cool drop cloth from the show that features the hands of over 100 employees draped against this chair. I know, right? His sister has never been in here and she's five. And beautiful historic pieces from historic Broomfield. There's also a piece that I created specifically for the show. This piece is called The Table. And it references imagery and quotes drawn from the other pieces of collage work along with some ceramic pieces. Now it's important to note that this is an actual antique table that I converted into a piece for this show. There are no seats here because it's meant to represent the absence of that, the absence of that. Because until we all have a seat at the table, then no one truly has a seat at the table. And Here's something that's really cool. We partnered with the museum here in Broomfield and the depot to feature these really cool pieces. This is an actual advertisement from many, many years ago when they were actually encouraging people to move to Broomfield. An actual photograph of a Broomfield living room. Lanterns, antique radio, think fireside chats, all the good stuff and of course the map of Broomfield. The pieces flow over here as well as some pretty cool Lego creations for the, the kid in all of us. We have the flowers again. And we wrap up the show here at this display. And again, we'll be here through the 24th of June at 4 p.m. I hope if you get the opportunity that you will come by and share and experience this beautiful show. And I will be here on Wednesday and Friday at the close of the show to offer free tours. For more information, simply visit duplessisart.com or reach out to us directly. Or you can also reach out to the city and county of Broomfield and the Broomfield Auditorium team will be happy to provide you with information about this extraordinary show. Many thanks to all who participated. Many thanks to you for watching. And many thanks to God for the opportunity to share and to create opportunities for people to collaborate and come together through the arts. I'm Chloe Plessis of Duplessis Art. It's an honor to serve. All the best to you moving forward.